often record people, but I'll do it. In, I'll do it in a video now. Can you okay, pronounce? Yeah, sure. You're from which country again? So I'm from Ecuador. Okay. So how do you pronounce it? Americans say Ecuador, but you have okay. a softer inflection. Ecuador. Yeah, Ecuador. the Spanish one. The the Romance languages are softer and more. Um, All right. So you've ever been in South America or Latin America? I've never been south of the U.S. border, no. I've been to the Fiji Islands. My second wife was wow. from Fiji, so I learned to speak Hindi language from India. Oh, really? Yeah, just very little, but but I've always. Yeah, it's also great to hear people talk from other countries. You hear them firsthand saying the language. You learn it better, of course. Exactly. That's a true form of expression. It's quite hard to do it. Let's see. I'm fine. So, what are you trying to do to it now? Or are you just so, trying to get the right settings? Yeah. So, let's see. How is low like? The lower the ISO, did you try that too? Yeah, so the ISO is 100. Mm. What should it be the shutter speed? Shutter well, as slow as you can get it to cause the water to blur. So, like less than a 20th of a second. Maybe even a thirtieth. Even if it's too slow, and your camera might shake. But right. But I took mine down to I think to a half a second. What do you think? Did it work? Kind of worked. It was pretty hard, but yeah, I think with addition. I like that one. photography just for fun or...? Oh yeah, I started as a child. My parents handed me a box camera, a Kodak, oh, really? in the 1950s. You had to take photos of the family. Uh -huh. wow. So it was... I didn't know what I was doing as a child. Of course, I just learned from watching them do it. Wow. And... Uh, so which camera did you get first? Like the... I bought a, an SLR, not a, not a digital, but in the old days it was... Right. It was a single lens reflex, which is film. So I shot a lot of photographic film at rock concerts and musicians and wow. and our family I photographed and, and places like this, but I didn't do it enough. Exactly. There's people that grew up here um, okay. in Portland and they took many more pictures than I did. Really? And they display them now on Facebook. Well, do you use Facebook at all? Facebook? Facebook, the social site on the on internet, the Facebook site, everybody. The Facebook? Yeah. I I, right now what I do more is like, you know, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, everybody uses Instagram now because it's for some reason, but there's no dialogue. People don't have as many discussions. Exactly. I'm a somewhat professional astronomer, so I set up big telescopes in the public places and allow people to look through them. And I do it up on Mount Tabor occasionally, the big hilltop park over here in southeast Portland. But I've done it across the nation. I did it in the Fiji Islands and I taught some astronomy there about 20 years ago. Wow. And, you know, so it's been fun, but uh, I photograph a lot of things, wide and very. This is actually going on a video, and I forgot I've been videoing you the whole time uh, while you were talking. So <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't. I think you so much. I think mean, do you post like your work, like? I put it up in Facebook. Okay, I have. So I, I also have it in Instagram, but I just don't use Instagram because you no. Should. Well, my daughter uses it, and I go there to check once in a while to see what she's doing. But yeah, I just. I'll. There's a. Um, immediate post when you put up a Facebook image it also um, it posts in tandem to Instagram okay. so you can look it up I'll tell you what it is but I photograph the night sky a lot as an astronomer with telescopes and cameras so.
I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll turn this off here because I know this is a long video now. I 